In question 13, we're told that a straight line passes through the point 0, 12 and 10, 4, and we're asked to find the equation for that line. So we know that the equation for any straight line is y equals mx plus c. Now, in this instance, the c bit is easy to work out because the c is the y-intercept, i.e. at which point does it cut the y-axis. Now, if you take into consideration what our coordinates are, they are x and y, and since it's 0, 12, it means it cuts it 0 on the x-axis. So if you think about an axis like this, it will be 0, 12, so it will be up here, and that, of course, is the y-axis. So it will be somewhere here around 12. So our... our oh, sorry, go back to the pen. Our equation will be y equals mx, and m, m is the gradient, but we'll come back to that, plus... So we know the y-intercept is plus 12. So this m bit then, the way that we work that out is using the, it's a formula, but essentially it's just common sense. It's y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. And essentially what you're saying is, I'm going to use these coordinates here, but in order to work out the gradient, I need to do rise over run. So the rise is the movement in the y-axis, the run, so how high it goes, the run is the movement in the x-axis, i.e. rise over run. So it actually follows on from common sense, so you should do it that way. So what you end up with is 12, which is the y1, minus 4, over 0, minus 10. And that gives us 8 over minus 10, and that gives us minus 0 0.8. Therefore, the equation of that line, L, equals minus 0 point, uh, minus 0 0.8 x plus 12. So L, sorry, L is y equals that. In part B, then, it asks us to find an equation of the straight line which is parallel to L. So immediately we know, since it's parallel, the gradient, minus 0 0.8, will be the same, and it passes through 5 minus 11. So again, parallel equals gradient is the same. So that means the gradient is minus 0 0.8. So we actually have part of our equation ready. We know it's y equals minus... 0.8x, we just need to work out the y-intercept now. So we know it goes through the point 5 minus 11. So, so keeping that equation of a straight line in mind, y equals mx plus c, we know that y is 11, oh sorry, minus 11, we know that this is minus 0 0.8, and we know that x is 5, so it's actually minus 0 0.8 times 5, and plus c is the one we're trying to work out. Therefore, c will be equal to minus 11 plus minus 0 0.8 times 5 is minus 4, so it goes on to the other side, it becomes a plus 4. So that means it equals minus c equals minus 7. So that means our equation will be y equals minus 0.8x, because we know it's the same, gradient, minus 7.